All right, good day. So, I'm back on Unity 5. Well, back. I've never actually shown Unity 5 on this channel before, but I'm on Unity 5. I'm getting back into my game development stuff, my programming and whatever. I haven't done it in a while, so I'm hopping back into it. And so, I just wanted to showcase a moving platform that I programmed um, just to show my progression and also in case anyone out there is wondering how to make a moving platform well you can look at my code and kind of copy off of me so here it is just to show the end product um, it moves like this right now I only have it moving up and down but if I wanted to um, you can see I have my variables right here because I allowed <clears throat> excuse me I allowed the variables to be visible we'll get into the script in just a second here but if I wanted to I can have the script I mean the platform moves side to side rather than up and down by simply reversing these right here. I think that should be correct. Let's see. Yep. And so there we have it. We can move up and down side to side and it's nice and flexible like that. You can create other um, objects. Let's say another quad and you can attach the same script, I called the script moving script, and we can attach it there and we can get to playing with the variables ourselves once again and just have moving platforms all around our stage. So into the script we go now just to explain what's going on here. Um, here I declared my variables. I have an X speed, a Y speed just to set how fast the thing should be moving, um, the X stop and the Y stop which is basically the first uh, area, the first target that it should be moving toward before it stops and turns around. And then we have X stop 2 and the Y stop 2, which is the same thing as X stop 1, um, the original X stop and Y stop just at a different location. So it kind of just bounces back and forth between, you know, the X and Y stops 1 and 2. I probably should put 1 here, but yeah, let's just put 1 just for simplicity. So we have X stop 1, Y stop 1, X stop 2, and Y stop 2. Now here in the update function, I put transform.translate x speed times time dot delta time time dot delta time is so that it moves smoother and it's not weird and glitchy um, dependent on your system speed. Um, the y same thing with the y uh, positioning. The z positioning over here is at zero because I'm doing a 2D game. But if you were doing a 3D game, you would obviously have to put a Z variable here times time dot delta time. You'd have to make a Z variable here as well, um, as well as the Z stops. Um, and then over here in this if statement, I put if transform dot position dot X is greater than or equal to X stop, it would reverse the speed by multiplying it by negative one. Or if it is less than or equal to X stop two, which is basically just the opposite of this part over here, it would once again reverse the speed by multiplying it by negative one. Same thing here for the Y speeds. And so this right here is kind of what creates that moving back and forth effect that we have going on over here. One second. And that's that. Um, one thing I want to note here is I made my vari variables private, but I put serialized field, which is why they are visible right here in the Unity editor. And that just makes it easier for me. Like if I wanted to, like I said over here, I created another quad if I wanted to just play around and add something, let's say, make it really fast in the Y speed and kind of slower in the, oops, that's X stop, X speed. And yeah, we'll just put some other random variables over here um, and just see what happens. Whoa, <laughs> that's trippy, but that, that, that's, that's basically the whole idea behind that, is so that instead of actually having to go back into the code and change it every time, this is able, this script is able to be applied to a multitude of different objects, and you're able to play with the variables as well, and it's basically more customizable, that's why I did it like that. Um, so yeah, that's about it, I just wanted to show that off real quick. If you have, like, a more efficient way of doing this, because, you know, I'm not the best programmer, um, excuse me, that was my phone, um, I know some people probably have uh, more cleaner and uh, more efficient ways of doing this that isn't as verbose as my code here. So I mean, if you want, you can feel free to leave that in the comment sections below and we kind of just help each other out to improve. Um, but aside from that, uh, yeah, I'm done. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. God bless.